uh, this quick video today is going to show you how you can outline a water area in AutoCAD Civil 3D and then export that polyline, import it into InfraWorks as a water area. So the first thing I'll do is I'll draw my polyline here in AutoCAD. So P line command. Now I'm not going to worry about making it look pretty since this is just a demo. You will certainly take more time than I'm doing. Let's just say we go along here and call that our area and we'll close that polyline. So now I have an AutoCAD polyline object. The next step is to export that to an Autodesk Spatial Data Format or SDF format. We can do that by moving from Civil 3D over here to Planning and Analysis. And then in Planning and Analysis, go to the Output tab of the ribbon. Okay, and over here, DWG to SDF. Okay, make sure that your files of type is set to Autodesk SDF, or if you prefer, you can use the Esri shape file, star.shp. In our case, we're going to use SDF, and I will name this output file. Now, I already have that, so this will want to overwrite that. That's fine. Okay, so we get to this step. So, selection, I'll say select manually. Then I'll press this button that lets me actually go out and select, and I'll select that one polyline. Okay, everything else is good there. Go to Feature Class. I'm not, I don't have a uh, object data table or anything like that, so just like this, these uh, defaults are fine. And then on the Options tab, make sure we treat closed polyline or polylines as polygons, and say OK. So that file has been written, so I'll pop over here into InfraWorks. I can either drag and drop that file. This one here, I could just drag that over and drop it onto InfraWorks. Now the data source configuration comes up. Be sure you set your type to water areas. And then on the source tab, we'll drape that onto the ground. And say close and refresh. And here we get that water area that we outlined in Civil 3D.